the rumors are true. Yes, I have a keyboard. It's not any keyboard because the keys are keys. This whole thing started when I was doing a builder's live stream building the super simple MIDI keyboard in the last video. And because I didn't have enough arcade buttons, I used a key uh, lock switch uh, that was uh, kind of triggering the last MIDI note that I needed for that. Well, Spectrum DIY, who was watching the live stream, did the pun keyboard and it all sort of rolled on from there and then this happened because we all know that half of the work of building a machine is coming up with a decent pun for a name by the way if you're not aware of spectrum diy he makes a bunch of modular synthesizers and youtube videos on them as well in cosmo format his last project is the Synco vco which is basically five vcos all crammed into one module the link is below to that video subscribe to his channel check out the videos anyway without further ado i think we should plug some keys into these locks and see if we could get some music. So this keyboard is built with the same premise as the last video in the MIDI controller, where it was a super simple Arduino project using a MIDI out. And people who hadn't messed with Arduinos and coded before were quite surprised with how simple it could be. So here is another iteration of it. You can literally use any switch to make a keyboard as long as it makes an electrical contact. And that's sort of what this is. So this is a MIDI controller. You can basically plug it into anything. I ended up using these type of keys because these switches are surprisingly expensive Expensive. These were the cheapest ones I could find. They were £1.50 each, but to get like proper nice action, decent key lock switches, you're looking between five for pounds and ten pounds each. And I wasn't sure whether I wanted to sink that much dosh into this idea. May as well make a proof of concept. And if it is world changing, then maybe we may make a mark too. But I have a have a feeling that I may doubt that. So yeah, it's exactly what it looks like. Every single one of the notes are under lock and key. And the only way to access these notes and turn them on is to basically switch the switch and then that turns that note on. With these locks there's about four different types that I've got on here so it might actually add to making some interesting chords because not every single key will work in every single lock. Oh, I just chose one that it would work in. Come on let's see if we can Let's see if this one doesn't. Yeah, so I won't be able to pick this one up. I'll have to find one that's free. So it means that we might be able to find some interesting drone sounds because that's the other thing about this is when you put it in and you twist it, you can leave it on to drone, go and get another one, pop it in, find the note. Ah, uh, come on. And leave it to drone. Right, one sec, let's give this a go. Let's plug it in, let's see what happens. Let's get a decent, Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, it works! Okay, I'm gonna set this up to direct record and record some lovely drones. Let's go for it. Right, let's give this a go. I've got it plugged into the Prophet 600 as I feel this will make a lovely Earthscape theme because I don't know what notes I'm going to play because I'm just going to put it in whatever fits. So it's going to play something that is not using my usual mind.
So I've got to be honest, all in all, I'm actually quite surprised and pleased with this sort of concept. I know a lot of commenters sometimes in some of these experiment videos kind of go, oh, why do you bother doing that? It sounds like rubbish. Well, you'd never know what the outcome's going to be until you do it. So it's not about the outcome. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But at this point, I actually think that it's actually got merits over its use because you are forced to play things merely by chance of what lock you pick up. Okay, you can fit the same lock into a number of the different switches because there's about four different locks and then 18 switches. But it means you do things you wouldn't have necessarily have done. And it's always something worth thinking about when experimenting with a user interface because a user interface can really curate how the person uses whatever they're using. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to build one of these, check out the link below Low to the last video it kind of goes through what you have to do to get something like this working a big shout out to spectrum diy on the funny pun in the live stream if you want to watch that builders live stream you can still do that on patreon and also go and check out spectrum's youtube channel the song from the start of this video was a clip of the latest mega mix it's basically a 10 minute long song made from mixed audio from modular live streams on patreon the link is below if you're interested in that and likewise you can download the wav version of the drone song as well over there anyone that's it from me and the keyboard if you like what we see don't forget to subscribe and remember, don't be scared to try it.